Uh, Dwight Howard, let's get straight to it. Dwight Howard doesn't think that Rudy Gobert is an elite defender and says he doesn't deserve those defensive player of the year awards. Um, basically, Dwight was actually letting him down pretty nicely. He didn't want. He said he didn't want to tear down any players or something like that. Um, basically, he was just saying that Rudy Gobert is a good um, team defender, not an individual defender. Um, basically saying that you could just, he's just cleaning up the mistakes that happen on the perimeter, like from people getting down downhill and he's just going to go clean up their mess mistakes. Um, but you know, obviously like if you get him on the perimeter, you're, you're he's a defensive liability, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Rudy Gobert is an interesting player cause you know, he is a good rim protector, but you know, and all these defensive player of the year awards is what people kind of crash on him about, you know, cause he is a defensive liability at times and the playoffs is when people more and you know that's more of a regular season obviously depot is a regular season award so you know not every team has the personnel to where they're going to go try to go pick on rudy gobert every night or most teams probably aren't going to do it every time to show their hand in the playoffs as well so that's probably why he gets all these defensive awards i will say that um defenders also do play more aggressive when they got rudy gobert behind them because they know they he can go clean it up and you know block every single shot and also in utah they weren't really good at like good defenders you know what i'm saying as well so i mean i guess that's where the like you know he could get a d play off that just because like you know they weren't it was just like Roy so neil i feel like it's just the best defender in my opinion from what i remember uh, they were like crazy defenders on that team you know what i'm saying it was just rudy gobert cleaning everything up so i get that i get from both sides you know i see rudy gobert's perspective i'm cleaning up every shot i'm affecting the rim you know people aren't gonna go or try to it's just hard to score on him because he's like 7-2, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, when we get in the playoffs, you know what's going to happen. We're going to go get that. We're going to go have him come set the screen, and we're going to try to see if he can move his feet and defend our best player, you know what I'm saying? And I get it. I do get it. He's definitely improved on, like, sliding his feet, but he's still just – he'll never get there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's just never – it's like Rudy Gobert working on his office game. Like, he's just never going to get there. And I am a D1 Rudy Gobert. Like, I don't want you to say D1. I'm a day one Rudy Gobert. Either. I've always said he wasn't that good, you know what I'm saying? Like, right when he got that contract for, like – it was from Utah. When it was, like, 130-some mil, 140 mil or something like that. I was hated from the jump, you know what I'm saying? Now everybody has, has caught on, you know what I'm saying? I, I still don't get how he got all that money for someone who can't do anything on offense as well. He's a good rim, uh, shot blocker, rim protector, but obviously we know what goes down in the playoffs where he can't. Um, he becomes a liability because he can't do anything on offense, and then obviously we're going to go to hunt you on the perimeter. So I see it from both sides. Other than that, catch you next one.